Just based off the title of today's video, can you guess which card am I going to be talking about? It is none other than the HSBC Revolution credit card, with it being one of the most versatile cards that lets you earn either 2.5% cashback or 4 miles per dollar, no minimum monthly spending, no annual membership fee, and all for your everyday spendings. There's no reason why one should not be holding this card. In today's video, I'm going to share with you my past 2 years experience of using this card and how I've maximized the usage of this. Even up until today, as I'm traveling, I'm still using HSBC Revolution, pairing together with the HSBC Everyday Global Savings Account. So let's dive straight into today's video. Let's go. I've had friends and also viewers coming to ask me which would be the first card that comes to my mind to recommend and it is none other than the HSBC Revolution credit card. Be it whether you're a fresh graduate, you're trying to apply for your first credit card or you have already held multiple credit cards over the number of years that you've been working, just that you have not optimized the usage for either cashback or mouse, HSBC Revolution is a versatile card suitable for both ends of the spectrum. It allows you to earn 2.5% cashback or 4 miles per dollar and no minimum monthly spending. In addition to that, it is based off your everyday spending. The fact that right now we are all trying to save as much as we can for our future, you should not be trying to hit minimum monthly spending on credit cards just so you can earn the additional cashback or hit the interest for the savings account. Additionally, for those of you who are mouse chaser, you shouldn't spend more than you need to just to accumulate for points to redeem a business class or first class flight ticket. We should try to save as much as we can while we are still young just so we can fund our retirement our ideal life down the road in the future because we don't want to be working for the rest of our life. Unless you really find joy in your everyday job, then great for you. But most of us, 99% of us, do not want to be working for the rest of our lives. So with credit cards, the key thing to note is that you should not be putting more expenses, more than what you need on a credit card. And this is why HSBC Revolution is great. A quick shout out to those of you who are still looking for places to stash away your idle cash and you are a new user to Momo Singapore. They're 5.8% per annum returns for the first 30 days in either the SGD Fullerton Cash Fund or the USD Money Market Fund is still ongoing right now and as a new user, sign up rewards of up to SGD $680 is available up for grabs for you guys. I've just completed my 30 days term on a deposit of $30,000. This was my daily returns and in addition to that, they will do the top up to make it 5.8% per annum returns for the first 30 days within 7 working days after I ended the period. More details down in the description box below, take advantage of this before before it ends, now let's get back into today's video. Let's go. With HSBC Revolution credit card, you can earn rewards based on your everyday spending and this is the table that will show you what are the eligible transactions. So as you can see, you have travel related transactions such as airline, car rentals, lodging, cruise lines and also travel agencies. So if you're booking for your annual holiday trip, you can also charge it to the HSBC Revolution credit card which will earn you 2.5% cashback or 4 miles per dollar. And departmental stores, retail stores, you go shopping in Singapore or overseas, if you want to put your overseas payments on this card, you can as well. But but I would not recommend that because I'm an advocate for using multi-currency cards just because of the additional fees that credit cards will charge you when you use their credit cards overseas. Don't use it overseas, use it in Singapore. Supermarkets, dining, food delivery. These days, a lot of people are ordering grab food, food panda, etc. You can charge to this card and you'll still earn you the rewards points as well. Others such as transportation and membership clubs. Transportation, a note on this is that you are not eligible to earn 2.5% cashback or 4 miles per dollar for public transportation. So if you're spending on Grab, Tada, Gojek, you can use the HSBC Revolution credit card to earn you 2.5% cashback or 4 miles per dollar. And why I say either miles or cashback is because HSBC rewards you in terms of points. And with these points, you can either choose to redeem it for cashback, which is 2.5% equivalent, or 4 miles per dollar. If you accumulate the points and you don't want to, let's say, chase after miles after a period of time, you've thought about it and you realize that maybe the miles game is not suitable for you, with the accumulated points, you can actually redeem it for cashback as well and this is why I say that the HSBC Revolution credit card is very versatile and an additional perk of this is that if you combine it together with the HSBC Everyday Global Savings Account, you can earn an additional 1% cashback. This program is none other than the HSBC Everyday Rewards program and the requirements are pretty easy to fulfill. All you need to do is to just transfer $2,000 into this savings account and make 5 eligible transactions either on the credit card, the debit card that comes together with the savings account or gyro payment 
payments and you will be enrolled into the HSBC Everyday Rewards program that allows you to earn 1% cashback on gyro payments on the HSBC Everyday Global Savings Account or your credit card. HSBC Revolution gives you 2.5% cashback. If you stack it with the Everyday Rewards program, you're earning an additional 1% and in total, that will make it 3.5%. This is a screenshot of my savings account and the HSBC Revolution credit card. I wanted to show you guys a real example. With my savings account enrolled into the Everyday Rewards program, I'm eligible to get 1% cashback for my credit card transactions. So I've spent $3,000 for an Airbnb booking. In addition to that, the line above, you'll be able to see a DCC fee of $30.41. If you charge the same Airbnb payment to, let's say, a UOB ladies card, the DCC fee is usually incorporated into the same transaction. With this $30.41 DCC fee, it gets offset with the Everyday Plus cashback that I've received in my savings account. So net, I'm still getting 2.5% cashback or 4 miles per dollar in the form of reward points. So this is the perk of pairing this together. I wanted to show you guys a real life example. This is not all because you can also earn 1% cashback for your gyro payments with the HSBC Everyday Global Savings Account. This is still something that I'm earning rewards on while I'm here in South Korea right now. I have standing instructions set up from the HSBC Everyday Global Savings Account that pays off my insurance premiums and also my credit card bills monthly and it allows me to earn the 1% cashback just because I'm enrolled into the Everyday Rewards program and you can as well with little to no requirements signing up for the HSBC Revolution credit card and also the savings account. I see no reason why anyone shouldn't have this just to optimize your entire personal finances in one aspect. So this is why I'm holding both of it. It is 2023's winner for me. In addition to that, it will still be one of the things that I'll be using in 2024. It's a little tedious to set up all the gyro payments at the start but once you've set it up, it goes automatically every single month and being able to enjoy seeing 1% cashback just by paying off my credit card bills is honestly too good not to do, not to take advantage of and while they're still running the promotion, you should try it out for yourself as well. More than that, there are also additional perks that I have not mentioned. I have an entire dedicated playlist on the HSBC Revolution credit card. I'll link the playlist up above, down below, how you can optimize the use of these two combinations on your everyday spending in Singapore and I hope that playlist will help you. If you're looking to sign up for the HSBC Revolution credit card, sign up link will be down in the description box below. All you need to do is to just be a new HSBC credit card holder, spend $500 within 30 days of credit card approval and you can choose from the list of gifts listed down in the description box below. That is all I have for today's video. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comment section below or direct message me on Instagram. Instagram. I'll see you in my next video. Have a great week ahead. Bye-bye.